Hi, so in this video, we're gonna go through some more new planner annoyances, nuances, however you wanna badge them, uh, until such time I can do a full planner tutorial. So if you're interested in that, click the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified when that comes out. I'm Gavin Jones, founder and director of MeTime, where we help organizations be more efficient, happening to use Microsoft 365 to do that. If you wanna find out all the opportunities you can unlock in your organization by getting more out of Microsoft 365, and click the link in the description below to book a call and have a chat. So if you haven't seen last week's video on new planner preview, check that out first where we went through a bit of how it all fits together. I was gonna make a video, like I just said, on how to get the most out of the new planner because in pragmatic terms, planner is still the best thing that most, or most people in most organizations can use to get a handle on their tasks management given that most times people are just working in old paper notes and Excel spreadsheets and no app at all. But I've been having this for the past couple of days, so I can't get onto a premium project at the moment. It's a, it worked before, it now says it needs to set up project again, and that's been happening for the past couple of days. So in the interim, I thought I'd show you a couple more nuances to get all of the negativity out of the way before we actually come on to like, well, how can you get the most out of it in the next video? But th these are some quite useful ones. So overnight or whenever Microsoft updated it, they have made a change so that every private plan, for want of a better word, shows up with the same purple icon. So it used to be if it was a Microsoft to-do list that had a different icon, which you can see in this other video here, than a planner plan or a, a private plan. Now they've all got the same icon. So if I click on private plan test, that jumps me out to planner board. I can have a grid view, board view, schedule view, charts, and I can go back to my plans. If I click on Tickler, that is a Microsoft to-do list. But if I click on that, it shows me just a grid view. I can't have access to board view, like we talked about in the last video. And also the, the UI is missing the back button. So I've got, a, it's just completely separate. So why they've got the, the same icon, someone new into it might not understand that, although Maybe they're not using to do at all if they're new into it, I don't know. But that was an interesting nuance for me. Next one is I've set up a private plan. Let me go on to board view. If I unassign that to myself, that is a private plan, private to you. And a lay person might assume that if you go into my tasks and private tasks, given that we're in the planner app and that is a private plan, that tasks from your private plans would appear in private tasks, but that doesn't seem to be the case. I don't know if that's a bug or a feature or if it's changing, but for right now, the only thing that appears in private tasks is one task list, which is just called tasks, which is the default one from Microsoft to do. It doesn't show any tasks from any private plan. Also, if it's a private plan, there's only me in it. You can't have a private plan with more than one person in it, which I'll come on to in a sec. In assigned, doesn't appear in my private tasks, and it also doesn't appear in assigned to me because there's nothing that's been assigned to you there. So it doesn't assume that if you've got a task in a private plan, that they're your tasks, unless you assign yourself to them, which is, I guess, one extra step to have things feed back through into one place. So if you assign it to yourself, it does appear in assigned to me after a bit. There we go, but it doesn't appear in private tasks. So if you want to manage your, all your tasks in one place, you're gonna to have to assign yourself onto tasks, even in private plans. We've got new videos on Microsoft at work coming out at least every week. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when they come out. And then lastly, the sharing of a private plan doesn't work the same way it does in any other Microsoft app. So if I'm in OneDrive, Word, PowerPoint, Excel, if I've got something that's private to me, I can share it and choose to share it with internal, external people, just one at a time, I can share it to a group. The only thing you can do in the new planner, although having private plans is useful, or maybe useful, is unless you get confused with some of the nuances that I've just gone through. You can either have it private or add it to a group. So you can add it to an existing group, which will hopefully be a Microsoft Teams team. Not sure that's that clear for people that aren't that techie in the Microsoft land, or you can create a group which doesn't create a team, it just creates a Microsoft group in the background. If you create a team, it creates a group alongside the team. If you create a group, it doesn't create a team by default, which might be confusing. So uh, 
I don't particularly like this because I think group creation should just be turned off. You're going to end up with like millions of groups all over the place, which has got like fully fledged SharePoint sites in, in when you set a group up. Just to have a couple of people collaborate on one like plan. So although you're like t taking off a bit of that functionality, my advice would be to just put a, a planner in a team. And because I, you can't share it with just individuals, that still means bizarrely that I can't find a way of having a planner in a private channel. So that's been on the wish list for ages. I thought that if you could share a private plan just with another individual, that you could then put that into a private channel. That isn't the case. You've still got the same workaround where you can create a different group if you wanted to, and then add that planner into a private channel, but then you've got to keep the membership in line. So if you add someone into a private channel, you also then need to add them into that other group because you've essentially got two private areas, uh, which, which is overly confusing, I think, for just normal people wanting to do a normal job. They just wouldn't think that it would work like that. So hopefully those nuances that I've discovered since the last video will help in the interim until we can just do a full, full how-to tutorial, which will hopefully be coming in the next video, which probably, if this, this thing keeps going on for a few more days, might be next week. But um, if you have found any other nuances, foibles, annoyances with the new planner. Since you've been able to play around with it, let me know in the comments below. Really interested to hear those. Let me know what you think of the ones that I've found in the comments below. And uh, if you're hopeful and interested in just hoping Microsoft just sort out new planner, just comment new planner, thumbs up in the comments below. Really appreciate your comments. Should say a big thank you to our latest channel member, hence and such, if you want to join them and get some perks, then click the join button underneath this video. Help support the channel. Depending on what tier you get, you can get early access to videos before they come out for everyone else, or you can get members only training videos and live Q&A with me regularly when I'm available each week. If you're interested in that, click the join button below and have a look. And if you want to know how to get the most out of Microsoft for your entire organization, that's what I do in my day job click book a call in the link in the description below if you want to find out more. But if you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified every time a new video comes out. And thanks for watching so far. See you in the next one.